Hello. And good day. I have been doing things that may or may not have been wise, but we'll get to them. We will. All right. Ugh. So, for the moment, I will. I w I've been talking for a while about getting started looking at a silver label 64. I don't think I can get that up there. Um, but the fellow who is interested in it, sorry, the person who is interested in it may not be in a position to be interested at the moment. So, not that I still won't look. I've got to go through things. But, you know, you know. Oh, one thing I have forgotten to do in the last little bit. That was easy. Let's turn on the on air sign now. So I do have to tidy up a bit here. Shocking as that might be. Or I might need these. There was a fellow asked if I could look through not this magazine this is the tour pit i don't know when the last edition of the tour pit was anyway he asked if i could sort of leaf through this magazine that was on the top here it is from may 1977 published by Hugh hefner and his people and typically for the age, this is in the age of the staple thing. The cover is rather loose. It is. So I'm going to just have a peek in here and see what the articles. Ooh, looky. There's something you don't see much. It's a receiver. $600. Well, it may not be that. It's, it's actually a. Oh, it's part of the cover. It folds out. Oh, this one sells for 300 Anyway. Ooh. Oh, it's lots of cool ads in these magazines. Here's one for the Dodge Charger. 1977. If you can't wait to see that evening sun go down, the 77 Charger is your special car. Anyway, let's look at, oh, did I miss the, oh yes, the contents. So the contents of this magazine consists of many articles, and it's, uh, well, the last one starts on page number 238, so the issue is probably about that many pages. We have museums, music, books, adventures, movies, television, the Playboy Advisor. Playboy, Playboy Sex Bowl, Howard, Howard Smith, and Brian Vanderhurst. This month's question. What kind of clothes do you wear when you want to turn on the opposite sex? Imagine. And there is the Playboy Forum. Playboy's interview, NBC Saturday Night. The Saturday Night Gang, including Chevy Chase, talks about sex, drugs, Nazis, maybe Eisenhower, Jimmy Carter, placentas, and practically everything else in a wild, irreverent free-for-all. Imagine. <clears throat> Extended male orgasm. Gin types. The other. Our Lady de Banville. Oh, pictorial. Pictor uh, I think that means pictures. Long distance runners. Oral history. Fiction. Game girl. Playboy's Playmate of the Month. Playboy's Party Jokes. Crash. An article. Sacrificing descriptions of the crash of a jumbo jet in the Florida Everglades by survivors and rescuers. Silversmith's wishes. Fiction. What would you sell your soul for? Spring and summer fashion forecast. The What Mimi Stupid Quiz. The quiz to test your intelligence and your patience. Bewitched by older women. Pictorial essay. It's not nice to put a lady out to pasture at 30. It's not smart either. Uh, more English music hall ballads. 
Terror Inc. article, a journalistic investigation that reveals the sources, training, and techniques, sorry, training techniques and purposes of the ongoing wave of terror. Whack your porcupine, humor, further explorations of a far-out world of a favorite Playboy cartoonist. Uh, humping iron, pictorial, what happens when a rather well-endowed young lady gets into lifting weight? Plastic Man, gadgets and gizmos to warm the heart of that comic book hero. Think Tank, think tank. fast-paced information on money, science, envir environment. I can't read. Fast-paced information on money, science, environment, and law. Playboy Potpourri, an assortment of things. Playboy on the scene. Late flashes on what's happening, where it's happening, and to whom. I forgot the cover story. In case you haven't already noticed, in this month's cover, featuring Playmate of the Year Lillian Muller, the rabbit is formed by the soda glass, maraschino cherry, and straws. Now for some inside poop. That vanilla ice cream is actually mashed potatoes. We tried it with ice cream, but it kept melting under the strong light. Huh. Oh, yeah. And there it is, the bunny, right there, the bunny, mashed potatoes. Yep, they do a lot of things in taking pictures and movies and video <coughs> where things look like they are, but they're not. They are. I have been on many movie sets, and as the expression goes, they cheat things. Oh, look, here's an ad for the BMW Cube. As close to an all-out racing machine as a passenger car should ever come. Cool. Anyway, let me see. Um, lots of ads. Oh, tons of cartoons. And then here. Oh. Now there are things that I cannot show. I cannot. And nor will I. But let's just say some things are better left to the imagination. And that, indeed, I find is the key to good photography of this nature, and that is a little mystery. Indeed. A little mystery. Mystery is good. Some of these, I'm not sure I've even looked at this. I mean, I've been around a long time, and I do have a vast collection of Hugh Hefner's publications. And, uh, but, you know, I don't really often look through them. I don't. I don't indeed. I'm just looking for the article from. Oh, here's an interesting one. Nixon's interview with David Frost on Mutual Radio. The Mutual Broadcasting System, the world's largest radio network. Wow, that's interesting because here, here's the thing. David Frost was the one who finally kind of got well, people say anyway, to look at things maybe differently, or have that moment of realization. Maybe I will read this. By the way, this was supposed to happen on May 4th, 1977, May 12th, 1977, May 19th, 1977, May 25th. One of the most significant events in broadcasting history will occur when David Frost interviews the 37th President of the United States, Richard M. Nixon. The Mutual News Special will be broadcast simultaneous on radio and television for 90 minutes each night on May 4th, 12th, 19th, and 25th of 1977. Mutual will follow each of these historic programs with a 15-minute roundtable discussion featuring host and moderator Bob Moore, Vice President of Mutual News, and nationally known commentators and columnists Jack Anderson and James J. Kilpatrick, almost 
After almost three years of silence, Richard Milhouse Nixon will speak publicly for the first time since his final days. The resignation and the pardon, his near-fatal illness, and his last controversial trip to China. Mr. Nixon will have no prior knowledge of the questions posed by David Frost, nor will he be able to exercise any control over the editing or content of the programs. The American public will hear for the first time a perspective that has been missing from recent American history. Mutual, excuse me, mutual stations will broadcast five and ten minute highlight programs throughout the day following each of these historic interviews. Rebroadcasts of each interview in its entirety are scheduled for the following Sundays, May 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, 6 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Mountain Daylight Times. Indeedy. I never, you know what, I, I really, I've had this magazine a while. I have never looked through it. Oh, here it is. NBC Saturday Night Live, a nice talk with one producer, maybe six writers, and about seven or so performers, including Chevy Chase, who's not really, oh, never mind. And it's funny, they, well, it's different than this, the format of this. Anyway, I'm not going to read this now. So, 1977. Whew. Long time ago. <coughs> I was not... In 1977, I've aged to look at such a magazine as this. I was not. Let's look just near the back, see if we can find some cool something. Some cool ad. Oh, look. Introducing Le Car. Let's see here. And, you know, there's a lot of cartoons in here that are of a racy nature. But here's one. And it says, Would you water this plant, please? The damn thing just drank my martini. Ah. Oh. <coughs> and, I mean, there's... I don't even know how many cartoons are in each one of these. He had a stable of cartoonists. Oh, they're different style. And they would look at that. That's the 280Z. The fuel injection 280Z from Datsun. See, for people who own a car still like this, something like this, this is something that they would get and take the magazine apart and frame it in their garage or their man cave or wherever because you know the ads do the articles are interesting the pictorials are interesting but the ads oh my tell really the story of the day like look here's the champagne edition from Volkswagen and they've got the dasher the rabbit this the Rocco the beetle and the bus they still made the bus in 77 Volkswagen celebrates a millionth rabbit with cars that look like a million. Imagine one million rabbits hopping around, or hopping around all over the world. No one ever introduced a car so successfully before. So to mark the occasion, we're offering our stunning champagne edition Volkswagens, all decked out and dolled up like you've never seen VWs before. Would you believe our rabbit? Catch it in a glowing copper or silver green metallic paint. Either way... You get a soft velour inter interior and deep cut pile carpeting. Dasher, the elegant to begin with, even more so with its own handsome metallic glow and dramatic interior. Sirocco, with sports bucket seats and plush carpeting, dressed in rich platinum metallic with handsome red stripes. There are even champagne edition there's even a champagne edition, Beetle Convertible, elegantly upholstered with white leatherette, and a special VW bus in a luscious chocolate brown. In all, they make the most beautiful Volkswagens ever. But if you ever want one, you'll have to hurry. Limited editions like these 
don't last forever. And indeed, chances are, there are damn few of these that are still on the road. Damn few. Damn few. All right, let's see here. Is there anything else of note? Oh, here's the Bewitched by Older Women. And if I had more time, perhaps I would read through this. But not at this juncture. There may be on things on here. See, YouTube is a funny organization in that if you're doing something on a live stream, you can say whatever you want, pretty much. And if you put up something on your channel that they don't like, suddenly you can be in trouble. And it may be the same thing that you put in your live stream. Oh. Da, da, da. oh. Anyway, I think. There's the Volkswagen commercial. Oh, and of course, there's always cigarette commercials. Lots of them. Oh, my. And they, you know what? They also had incredible um, visuals. And I don't mean pictures of, like, the pictorials. Like, here is Terror, Inc., it's an article by David B. Tinnen, Tynan, an investigative report exposing a network, exposing the network, Moscow's secret hot war, the search for Carlos, the, pres the Palestinians' revenge. But, I mean, look at the face on this guy. Talk about terror. And if you notice, the, uh, the eyeball that we can best see is actually a picture of North America. But look, I mean, that is, that's better than a picture. That in itself is worth framing. Anyway, I have not read this. I have not had much to do with any of this. What's on the back? Oh, yes, the commercial for alcohol. All right. Ugh. So, um, all right, so as I said before, I did something I probably, I'm not sure I should have done or not, but I did it. Oh, oh, let's see here. Do I have time? I have time. All right, I saw an ad online. And once again, I try not to find things. <sighs> but things happen. And usually somebody beats me to these things. And really, you know what? This bunch of stuff is literally rat chewed and other stuff i haven't looked in this this is what is this the music shop for the commodore 64 it's been chewed on by something this has obviously been oh been sitting in a garage for a very long time but anyway there's a large bunch of stuff i got now most importantly how are the discs They smell the music shop. Well, there's the original disc. All right, there's another amuse original disc. Yeah, this this stuff is all. It will certainly the box and the manual do not add to the joy of this stuff. It has probably been in the garage for who knows how many years. Oh, look here's something called Sky Travel, educational software for your Commodore 64. A window to our galaxy. Learn about the stars. Um, it too has been. It all came out of the same box. So it too has been. Chewed. What do we have? No. These don't look too bad. Oh. There's one disc. And look. It's in a place. It's in this thing from Commodore. I don't think I've ever seen this before. You could either have cassettes. Or a disc. How magical. Somebody must have earned a little bit of a bonus for that. Anyway, I'll stick this back into the box. I have not tried any of these. 
but this box is gross. Um, what do we have on top? Actually, I'm going to take the box and throw it outside. Printmaster, also rat chewed. Um, it is. But we have a disc, Printmaster, for the Commodore 64, 128. Printmaster. So it seems it might have stuff there. So this will have to be tested. What else do we have here? The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy also chewed. I'm really thinking that I will, I will check these things out. Hoping that the discs are good, but there we are. I really don't see, like the documentation might be handy, but I don't think these boxes add any value to these things. They've, uh, they've had a rough life. Let's see. Oh, <sighs> but at least they didn't end up in a dump. Chessmaster 2100. Finest chess program in the world. And there is the disc. And instructions. And things. This box is not as bad as others. But not great. Let's see here. I'm just reaching up to try and dig things out. Ah, the newsroom. This too. There's mold. There's mildew. Once again, I really don't see it. This as a people would say, oh yeah, better in the box. But these boxes are pretty awful. The newsroom. There's the book. Warranty card. It may be that indeed the plastic and other such thing has saved the discs. I will see. But you see, I mean. This has obvious signs of water damage and such. So I think there will be a day when my recycle bin looks like an old Commodore store. There's more in here. What is this? America's Cup. Look at that. The Armchair Entertainment. By Armchair Entertainment Pr Pr Propriety Limited. Oh yeah, it has a disc. It has, actually, this one doesn't look bad, although certainly there's some water damage down the middle here. But the disc looks pretty good. By Electronic Arts. Anyway. Oh, let's see what else we have. 64 Power Pack. It looks like a word processor calc thing and a power file filer and once again pretty ugly but there is a disc <coughs> in there oh. oh my things are falling oh golly wait just a second oh i thought i had mule but it isn't it's earth orbit stations also chewed on I've never even heard of that. So we have Paperclip 3. Oh, we have... Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? We have Paperclip 3. Uh, reverse side. Pic dictionary disc. Uh, Paperclip 3. C128. Reverse dictionary disc and printer files. Cool. Alright. I wonder what Steve Douglas is doing these days. Here is Earth Orbit. I have no idea what this is. But the disc is here, and it looks pretty, although, you know, in pretty rough shape. Let's see here. Space dish. Oh, this looks really awful in terms of water damage. I might actually, if, if I can get anything out of here, I may never put it back in here. This is awful. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, I think maybe from this end I might have some luck. Maybe, possibly, possibly, maybe. Ooh. Oh dear. Yeah, that's ugh. Yeah, this has been it's got all the information and all the cards. I don't know. Maybe the disc will work. Space station. So the 64 and the 128 put that. Let me look at the oh, the disc. It looks a little bent, but it may be able to be saved. Ugh. But that packaging is going straight out the door along with this box. What else is here? Okay. Sesame Street print kit. And, oh. Hang on. I want to get this everything out of here. Oh, it's dusty. It's gross. It's terrible. But who knows? Some things might work. Okay. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a rough time here. There we go. Oh. Okay. That box is going out the front door. Um, what do we have here? We have something called the animation station. I remember I had oh, things do not smell good here. I had something like this called a koala pad. Unleash your creativity. Includes a just get for the combo sixty four. Oh, and indeed, it does seem to have things. Here's the pad. Sorry, here's the pad, and it's pen, and it does have discs. Koala joystick drawing program, and. I think this too. Uh, I, I hope that thing still works. Here's the manual. That too, I think, can just go. <laughs> I've been slimed. Okay. I certainly do not want to lose the little pen goes for that. Time to get another box. All right, animation station. Print kit. <laughs> Design and print stories, cards, party decorations, posters, banners. This doesn't look too bad in terms of the box stuff. And it probably has everything in it. I don't need to dig it out so I can fight with it. Now this, I don't know what this is. Phase Word Rally, grades 1 to 3, school edition. I have never heard of this. Never. How does it come out? Oh, there we go. Phase Word Rally. For the Commodore 64. There's its registration card. From Burnaby, B.C. Phase Word Rally. Huh, never heard of it. Certainly comes with a lot of documentation. Oh, and other stuff, including a large piece of styrofoam. Get out. Oh, there's, I think this is where somebody or some mouse started to try and build a nest. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, out the door. Well, put the styrofoam back in. Hello, I think I will. There we go. Anyway, lots of things to explore. Mostly to see. Do the discs work? Although some of this, I mean, this is, oh dear. Why, why do I have such difficulty putting this back?
some of this may be rare and somebody may be saying, oh yeah, I remember that. That's cool. This might have helped somebody learn to read. I am getting frustrated. I am getting frustrated. There we go. All right. Almost done. What is this? Tetris. The Soviet Challenge. It, too, looks... Oh, my. It's really been chewed. I think I need to rescue, but I can. Assuming I can. It does seem to be very, very, very... But you know what? I don't like doing this. I'm going to rip it. I don't see any value in this disastrous thing. Oh, there. Once I ripped it, I can actually get into it. Ugh. 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 And there is the disc. And perhaps even some documentation. <laughs> Almost done. What is this? Chuck Yeager's Advanced Flight Training. This one doesn't look in terrible shape. It does have the disc. Ta-da! Anyway, we'll have to investigate this all once I get another here, box where I can put it in. Bank Street Music right here. <laughs> Crud on the front of this. Uh, but there's the disc. West Education Office Computer Software Library. Please do not copy. Right here. By Glenn Clancy. Glenn Clancy. Bank Street Music right here. Interesting. All right, I got to get yeah, got that there. I got to find another box. Oh, what? Filth. Some stuff. Actually, a lot of this stuff will very quickly go out the door. Into the recycling. But I'll keep the discs for sure. Uh, uh, and I gotta get a broom. <laughs> anyway. Yes, indeed. We are on the air. I need a little drink here. Because that... Uh, that's pretty gross. Anyway, if you're looking for stuff, always watch your local area things. I usually check out Kijiji. Craigslist is pretty useless these days. Facebook Marketplace, you know, you never know. There's, I mean, eBay and stuff. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, but the thing of it is, is if you find something that looks pretty okay, although this, you know, we'll see if the, any of the discs work. By the way, there were more discs that came with it without any documentation and such. I haven't even started to look at them. Um, you know. It might be worth it, it might not. But certainly, if you come upon something you think is like, yeah, this is good, or it has a potential to be good, and the price is good, you got to go. In this case, I talked to the guy. I said, well, maybe I can come tomorrow. He said, well, there's another guy looking. And I just said, you know what? I know in that moment, I'm going to say to myself, hmm. And then by the next day, I'm not going to go. So I just said, fine, I'm getting in the car. And I even had to use... The 407, which is a toll highway. And the timing was bad, but my phone said, I can get you there on time. So, I went. Anyway, that's enough for now. I gotta get rid of this filth. Let's see what else I have to do. So, thanks for coming. Bye for now.